Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got a beautiful fall card for you using several products. It has this new, or this little mini card on the front of it that opens. We're gonna emboss with some copper embossing powder, which is beautiful. I do wanna say that I am voice recording over this video. My camera didn't record the voice. So if my words don't match my hands perfectly, please forgive me. All right, this is the new Autumn to Remember scrapbooking kit. Um, the pieces I used are from this kit. You can also buy just the patterned paper uh, if you want, if you don't want the scrapbooking kit, which the scrapping, scrapbooking kit's super adorable. I also put all these pages together yesterday. You've got stickers and embellishments, um, wood, a sheet of wood embellishments that's really nice. And it comes with these really cool sh sheet instruction sheets that tells you exactly how to cut your paper. So um, if you're interested, I'll have this uh, listed on the supply list so that you can check it out. All right, for today's card, I actually used three different stamp sets. Uh, here they are, Autumn to Remember. Uh, we're gonna use that leaf. The Autumn Leaves stamp set, which also have the coordinating dies, that's in the annual catalog. We're gonna make uh, three leaves with that. And then the sentiment itself is from Autumn Expressions. Um, and the sentiment on the inside is from Autumn Expressions as well. All right, well, let's get started. I think we're gonna start with our stamping. And we're gonna do some die cutting too, as well. All right, let's do the leaves first. I'm using Cajun Craze and um, Crush Curry and Early Espresso. First leaf is Cajun Craze. And then our second leaves are Crush Curry. And then I'm gonna use that veining image that goes down the middle of the smaller stamps in Early Espresso right there. Just an added detail. All right, let's move these out of the way. And we're gonna do some other stamping too. Let's see if I can find my, uh, there it is, my <laughs> rectangle. I'm always losing pieces. All right, change is beautiful right here in the middle of this perennial postage rectangle, Early Espresso. I mean, that is gorgeous font. All right, um, we're gonna emboss a sentiment also, but we'll do that in a minute. Let's uh, do some die cutting. Bring over your cut and emboss machine. Uh, if you don't have the autumn leaves dies, I highly encourage you to get them. They, there's a bunch of them in the set and they cut out lots of different types of, of leaves. Um, so line up your dies like that. Now this crushed curry one is actually gonna cut off the stems. I don't know why the die is designed like that, but whatever. We don't really need the stem anyway because it's going to be tucked in behind the sentiment. All right, take those off like that. Set them aside. And now we're going to make this other leaf um, using uh, these two dies. You're going to get a solid leaf like this, and then the veining um, die looks like that. And we're going to put an adhesive sheet on the back of this to make it easier to adhere that on because it's very skinny and you're gonna make a mess, believe me, I promise you. I make a huge mess with that. So get your adhesive sheet and we just need to put it on part of this pecan pie uh, because our solid leaf doesn't need an adhesive sheet on the back. So put your adhesive sheet over on the side like that. Let me trim this off so that it doesn't stick to our plates. There we go. You can save that piece for later or I don't know, throw it away. So let's see, does it fit? Yeah, okay. Um, you know, a little bit of it sticking off is fine. All right, but I'm gonna put that there and let's see if maybe we can get the whole thing. There we go. Now turn that over, stick the veining image or die there and then get your solid die and squeeze it in over here on the other side. All right, top plate, run it through. And let's see how we did, get those off. Move that cut and emboss machine out of the way. All right, now the this skinny veining, leaf veining die, uh, it's gonna probably stick in your die. Um, so get your, take your pick tool, and it has holes in it that help you just poke it out like that. Just one little poke is all you need. Um, and then you should take your pick tool to really carefully peel off the back of that ad adhesive. Um, this is a very delicate piece. Um, so be very careful, go slow, and peel that off. The, the Take Your Pick tool really helps you get it started um, with these beautiful uh, fake nails. I can't, <laughs> I can't ever get it started. So um, I have to use your Take Your Pick tool. 
um, which is which is fine. All right, stick that right on there. We've got like a tone on tone, um, you know, uh, leaf now that's really pretty. I, this is my favorite leaf in the whole set. Look at that, pretty. We don't have leaves like that around here in South Texas. <laughs> I wish we did. We do not, mostly oak trees with little leaves. All right, now we're gonna stamp the sentiment in Versamark. Um, that's a clear ink that you're gonna use to emboss. Rub your embossing buddy on there to remove any of that static. Um, Versamark, there we go. Don't look at how ugly my Versamark pad is. It, it's a mess. Stamp this sentiment right here in the middle. And then um, this is a great time for your uh, reverse tweezers. That die is from the Unbound Love die set, which is a fabulous set. Copper embossing powder, which is kind of a new discovery. I mean, not new, but I haven't ever used it. And it, when you use it on a dark cardstock, it's really pretty, you'll see. All right, grab that heat tool and you're gonna start heating this up. And uh, you'll see that copper embossing powder just really starts to kind of glow on this dark. See that, isn't that beautiful? Um, up close, it's just so pretty. Um, so when all the letters turn shiny and bright, you'll know that you're done. Those reverse tweezers will keep you from burning your fingertips off. They are part of that embossing additions kit as is that little embossing buddy right there. So I highly recommend getting that. All right, card base, um, five and a half by eight and a half folded in half. We're gonna put a piece of designer series paper on the front that is four by five and a fourth. Um, these measurements are gonna be over on a uh, free PDF for you on my blog, but because I'm doing the voiceover, I can actually look at the measurements and tell you. All right, now this is two-tone cardstock. This is brand new, also in our scrapbooking um, brochure, but see, it's Cajun Craze, but one side is lighter than the other, which is really kind of cool. It's a lighter weight cardstock, which I think is good for this because it's not gonna bulk up our card too much. Um, that two-toned piece is four by six. You're gonna fold it in half. Put a piece of designer series paper on there that is two and three-fourths by three and three-fourths. And then we're gonna put this on the front of our card. Actually, no, wait, let's do the stamping for the inside. This is another distinctive stamp, uh, this two-tone, or uh, this leaf from the Autumn to Remember stamp set. Stamps beautifully. Let's put it over here on this side too. Cajun Craze is the ink on a piece of very vanilla, two and three-fourths by three and three-fourths. And then we're gonna take our embossed sentiment and put it on top with dimensionals. There we go, put that right there. And then we will put this on the inside of our little mini card. Again, if you would like to turn this into a, a, a gift card holder, you totally could. I think if you just move that sentiment down um, a little bit, you would have space for a gift card. All right, adhere this right in the middle of the card front like that. See how it has two cards. Um, let's do the inside. This is a four by five and a fourth inch piece also of Cajun Cray, of <laughs> very vanilla. Stamp the leaves again, kind of falling down the side in Cajun Craze. Make sure you turn them each time so they look like they're really falling. All right, grab that card base. Let's put this on the inside. There we go, perfect. All right, there's that distinctive stamp. You can see that it's flat. But the technology that Stampin' Up! is designed with these stamps is they're flat, but they stamp this texture. Can you guys see the different variations in that? It's just amazing. All right, let's put all the goodies on the front. We're gonna start from the bottom up. And yes, we're gonna use dimensionals. Oh wait, we gotta add this ribbon. Here's this uh, Pecan Pie Center Stripe ribbon. And I'm gonna take a little loop. I'm gonna fold it in half and I'm gonna put it down underneath the bottom right corner. And I find the easiest way to do this is with just some tape. Regular old scotch tape. You don't want it sticking out the side, so cut it off if it's too long. Now, that looks a little bit too long. I think I'm gonna have to move it up a little bit. There we go. You just want like a half inch sticking out like that. Just a fun way to use ribbon. All right, now again, dimensionals, bring them over my favorite adhesive. Let's start with the big leaf in the back. 
And don't put it up too high because then you won't be able to open that card if it sticks out over that edge, that card won't open up all the way. All right, let's add in um, the Cajun Craze. We're going from biggest to smallest here. Uh, and then the little crushed curry leaves. If I can get these dimensional backings off, there we go. And then um, put dimensionals on your sentiment like that. And it's just gonna kind of sandwich all those leaves behind. There we go. All right, now last but not least, we're gonna put a little linen thread bow just a little one right there at the top of that ribbon loop. There we go. Pull that center part and uh, pull the ends and you can arrange that into whatever size you want it to be. Get a glue dot, mini glue dot, take your pick tool, pick that up, set it right there. And there you go. A really fun and special fun fold card. Um, there, I'm saying if you can, if you want to move that down, you could turn that into a gift card holder that would hold the gift card there for you perfectly. All right, make sure you hop back to my blog. I've got a free PDF there for you that has the supply list and measurements as well as two other Autumn to Remember projects, Funfold and the Treat Box that feature this adorable paper um, for you. All right, you guys, thanks so much. Happy stamping.